Okay, Herb. We get a lot of things to do here this morning. We get prizes to look at. Or rather, drawings. So that we can award prizes. So, I suggest that we see what's going on there in the drawing bill. And the thing that I tell you... Now, when I'm all through with this, don't go... Oh, you didn't use my drawing again. You see, we have a lot that come in, and they're so good, it's so difficult to figure out which one to use. Well, here's a nice one. This is from Kathleen Taylor. Now, there's a beaut. Isn't that a lovely picture of the house? Baby carriage. There's a little note on I would like very much to have a Revlon doll. I enjoy being home with a cold this week. How can you enjoy being home with a cold? Now, I can't figure that out. How can anybody enjoy being home with a cold? Oh, I see. You enjoy being home with a cold so you can watch the show. Oh, I see. I get the idea. Kathleen Taylor, 10 years old, a Revlon doll for Kathleen. And that's a good drawing. And, you know, the ideal Revlon doll is a beautiful doll. Will you see that, Kathleen? You will flip over her. Don't go away. Don't go away now. We have another. Oh, we have a great big one here. Great big cartoon. Let's see what this is. Oh, look at the size of this. Look at the size of that one. That's real cartoon. That's what it's going to be. Let's see. This was done by Dickie Tufaro of Metuchen, New Jersey. And he said, well, isn't that nice? Dickie said, please don't send him anything if he wins. Send it to his sister. His sister, Teresa, is sick. And she'd like a Revlon doll. Now, I'm going to tell you something. Because you're such a good boy and so generous, and this is so commendable, Dickie, that I'm going to send your sister. And I hope that she's better now. I'm going to send her a Revlon doll, and I'm going to send you a turbo jet car. So how do you like that? I'm going to send you an ideal turbo jet car, whether you like it or not. That's very nice, and that's a very, very nice thought. You always go on thinking that way, son. It's a beautiful drawing. Boy, there's a dapper Dan there with his ass cut. And a cigarette holder. Is that me? No, that's not me. I don't think that's me. But it's very good. It's an artist. It's an artist at his easel. All right, now. All right. Now, of course, as you know, it's time to go and join our dear little friends in the weather station. Of course, we've been having a little trouble in the weather station with all this Giba Giba business, you know, whether he's a vegetable. Poor old Giba Giba. When he was in South America, he was fine. Everybody accepted him, thought he was a very dashing, dapper fellow. You know, all of a sudden they're saying uh, Giba Giba is a vegetable. And Marvin is convinced he can talk. Talking to vegetables. Well, let's go over to the weather station and find out what old Jing's up to. And here we go now. Here we go now to the weather station. The jingle dingle. Are you ready, Jing? Yeah. You ready? You ready in the weather station? Yeah. All right, boy. Can you take over? I wish you wouldn't bring up that subject of the uh, the vegetable, uh, Elmer. Just well, I just thought I'd mention. Well, no, I just it's it's uh, you know it seems to send poor little Marv in a kind of a tizzy, and I wouldn't want to do that. Well. That's all right. No, I mean, Marv is quite upset about it. Yeah. And I don't want to, you know, after all, he's he's a great help to me, it's Marv. Yeah. And I don't want to upset him. All right. I really don't. Okay. So let's be kind to little vegetable. What do you mean? Are you beginning to think that vegetables can talk? No, no, don't be silly. Don't be ridiculous. Don't be ridiculous. There's, there's no such thing in mind. No, sir. As a matter of fact, Anything is possible in this world today. Anything. As for instance, look at this beautiful, beautiful weather station that I contrived. Does any of that work? Huh? Does any of that work? Does any of what work? Does, does the, oh, this thing, that thing that's right behind you. Where? That thing there. You mean the Muscopa Doper? Yeah. Does that really work? Why, of course it does. We just haven't used it because uh, there hasn't been too much of interest going on in the sky, you see. However, we, uh, we will have a very, very, very pleasant time here. And I think that we have a lot of things to do. As a matter of fact, we have to make... Do we have a drawing? Where's Marv? Marv, gee, he was around here a second ago. He was in the mail room. In the mail room? What was he doing? I'm getting the drawing, the drawing. Look at that fireplace. What is that? Looks like a, looks like a fireplace. Hold it up there like that. 
parked up there. Move it up a little higher. What's that? Uh, that's a what? That's a, that's a, uh, 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 somebody's house. A basement. A basement? A basement. Uh-huh. Well, that's very, very uh, unusual. Looks kind of like a, an old English Tudor type interior. That sounds more like an automobile. No, no, this is, a, this is the inside of a, of a house, you see. And it's described, what does it say back here? Wait a minute. A madman cellar. What does that mean? I mean, I hear what is this a guy that flipped his lid, and anybody that flipped their lid, they'd live in a thing like that. You know, who else would live? Oh, now stop that. This was sent in by uh, Raul Alcover of New York, New York. A madman cellar. A madman cellar, yeah. I wonder why he called it a madman cellar. I don't know. I'd have to go there to find out. Maybe he spends too much time there. Anybody who spent a lot of time there, they're going to flip their lid after a while. I know. That doesn't look too bad there. Doesn't look too bad. All right, we're going to send uh, Paul uh, Raul Alcover from New York, New York, for his madman cellar. We're going to send him... Send him a madman cellar. No, we don't send any cellars. We're going to send him, uh, uh, well, let's see, uh, Robert the Robot from the Ideal Toy Company. How's that? I don't have a big deal, Robert the Robot. Well, it's a very good, what are you talking about? It's a very good toy. <laughs> oh, I keep bumping my head on that thing. Can you get this? Uh, leave that alone. And take that, take that drawing and hang it up. What's up the drawing? Well, pick it up. And put it over there. That a boy. That's the way to do it. That's our boy. Yes, sir. 